So I have unbolted that section. Um, it has those weird clips you stick a pick in. And you twizzle it around to undo it basically. And there's a Torx at the back which I haven't undone yet. So I've measured this pipe just from Pipe Dynamics. And turn this on. The inside diameter is 2.25 inches. So stupidly, because I only had this pipe, I bought the 2.25 inch um, coupler. Uh, to couple onto the existing exhaust, and then I've measured this exhaust, which is roughly where it will fit, and it's only two inches. So I need to get an upsizer. So I'm going to go from this down to two inches. Um, so I think the whole exhaust is a two inch exhaust straight through, and not the original, or the one I originally thought it would be, which would be 2.5 inches. So I'm going to delay this for another couple of days, um, but I have dropped the exhaust down a bit. I think there is space to get an angle grinder in here to cut this off round here. So yeah, we should be good. Okay, so the exhaust is installed. It took me multiple days. Um, apologies, this isn't very coherent video. So, I only chose to install the back section, um, so I've kept the centre resonator. So I just cut this pipe off with an angle grinder. And then I got a, a two inch to two and a quarter inch adapter, I think. I'll show, you, I'll show you on screen now what I bought, which bolted up there to the two and this, whatever size this pipe is. It's slightly bigger than that section of pipe. And so I use the original hanger. There you go, you can see now. I use the original hanger, but I used some spacers that I made out of aluminium and I put a longer bolt in there just so I could get this at the right height so that it doesn't rub at all. Um, uh, I've driven around, it sounds a lot better, definitely worth doing. Um, I'll show you the startup clip now and then I'll show you some driving videos. Right, exhaust just installed. Okay, so we are out further into the countryside for a bit more, um, less traffic. So I'll give you some sound clips. I've got a microphone set up in the boot of the car. So put the windows down and hopefully you'll hear some sounds.